Thanks for going electric with Drive EV. This is the intro video for the ZD1. So, first of all, the most important thing is to make the car go. So, foot on the brake, push the on button, and check for the green car, which we call ready mode. This indicates that the high voltage battery is connected. If you don't put your foot on the brake, everything lights up like this, but you don't get the car and you can't drive anywhere. So. Um, that's step one. From left to right we've got the heated steering wheel. Uh, this is your charge time override. So if you've got your charge timer set up in the speedo cluster, this is how you can override it for one session. Charge flap open. Uh, this is your collision warning, you can turn that off. If you ever see this sign on the dashboard as a warning light, the most common cause of that is the sun strike or if there's dirt on the screen. It's a very common one to happen on certain days and then go away. You've got the eco button here. This may be located in a different position depending on your spec. That will change the way your acceleration happens. Hopefully make it more efficient. This one here is the pedestrian warning sound. The car makes an audio sound to warn pedestrians you're coming. This is how you turn the pedestrian sound warning off, which is standardized as on, so you'd have to do it every time. This here is the ETC toll card reader. This isn't used in New Zealand and has been disconnected. Then the bonnet releases here. Simply pull that up to release the bonnet. Right, we'll move on to the steering wheel now. This button here controls the audio, whether it be your hands-free for your phone or music. Simple up and down. This controls the speedo cluster. Uh, left and right will go through the sections, which it uh, has different options. So for example, EV stuff is there, and then if you go down, you get some info around that. Last track, next track, and back for the infotainment center. And then on this side, these buttons relate to ProPilot. Some vehicles have this, some don't. So if you don't have this button, then you don't have ProPilot. First you turn it on, which, it confirms that it's on up there and then after that you get to the desired speed push set we're not moving so it won't work but it will display the locked in speed you have there um, and then you can adjust it with the plus and minus to increase or decrease that speed this button here sets your following distance to the car in front and then you can either hit cancel or turn it off completely to deactivate it or push the brake. We've got voice control here, which is in Japanese, so that is not a function we use. And then this is the button to answer your hands-free calls. If your car is fitted with auto headlights, if you pop it into the auto position, they'll come on at night and go off during the day. If this symbol comes up, that means your auto dipping headlights are on, so the vehicle will dip all by itself. You can alternate this by pushing this forward. In the speedo cluster is where your EV settings are. So head to settings, and then down to EV settings, and this is where you'll find your charge connector. If you put it in the auto position, it will be locked until the vehicle is fully charged. If you put it in the lock position, you'll always have to hit the unlock button to release the cable. And if you have it in the unlock position, this function is disabled. Below that we've got a charge timer. This allows you to set when the charge starts and ends. The charge timer allows you to delay the start time and also set an end time. The benefit is you can often get cheaper power and reduce the load on the grid. Set the climate timer to have the car regularly warm or cool itself at the time you want to leave. So to operate Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you need to plug your device in. If it's your first time, you may need to allow some settings on the phone. So to change the clock, you go into settings, hit clock. For daylight savings, you adjust this to zero or 59, depending on what time of year. 
the clock synced with GPS so if you disconnect the 12 volt it'll just go back to the correct time this is your drive selector and it says here what to do slide it across and back for drive again for B mode which can be done on the go uh, and then up for reverse P for park to engage E pedal you put your foot on the brake and pull that up and then do the same thing to turn it off this is your auto parking button here and maybe an eco depending on your model up here we've got your parking sensors which can be turned off you keep an eye on as a leaf driver is your window washer fluid which can be topped up here and your tire pressures the tire pressure guide is just in the driver's pillow the leaf charges from the front you've got dc on the left and ac on the right simply plug your connector in and check the charging lights are activated when you plug in just check that the light's flashing to confirm that the vehicle is charging. We hope you enjoy your new car and please get in touch if you need any help along the way.